Hello there! Melee as a weapon class got stronger and feastable weapons received some extra points to the base damage and now they look even more unbalanced than before. For example, the best feastable, which is Gauntlet, is two times stronger than the worst one, Mage Hook. So in this video let's talk about actual smart, would be smart balancing of feastables. How would I make them great again? Cause this little Morphos used to be the strongest damage per hit weapons back in the day. To compare them correctly, I have the same set of legendary mods, best mods for the highest damage, I mean non-legendary, unyielding armor with the same legendary mods, under armor to make them even stronger, mutations for melee build, huh, just in case today I will not use temporal buffs like magazines, power heads, uh, food and uh, meds. Here are my perks for quite feastable melee build. Awareness is important here to see if damage resistances are low enough to exclude reduction coil from the damage formula, cause with more buffs the difference will be uh, different. Just in case, here are my legendary perks. Explosions are must have for any proper feastable build. And they are just fun. Okie dokie, so let's compare what we are gonna cook with. Power Fist has the best physical damage and Gauntlet the best overall damage, which is more than two times stronger than mid hook offers. The swing speed is exactly the same here, I don't want to count frames of each animation, but they all seem to have the same swing speed. If I'm wrong, please tell me in the comment section. I wish they could add Ogwa Gauntlet uh, so we can have a full set of feastables, but it doesn't matter. Another stat we can look at is AP cost, so the lowest is 25 and uh, not in case of mid hook, the highest is 40. Ok, so I would give AP cost 25 to Knuckles, mid hook, boxing glove and death tumble. For bare arm, power fist, more minor and death claw gauntlets 40, 35, 35 and uh, 45 to gauntlet. Mid hook should have bleed damage as well and I would give all these suckers more physical damage. Well, in this case uh, mid hook, knuckles, boxing glove and death tumble should have somewhere around 550 damage while bear arm deserves to be at 700. In case of knuckles and death tumbo, I would give them faster swing speed by default, and that is how they can stand out even with lower base damage, or just damage in this case. Additionally, I would give to death tumbo a special effect like a vampire. With each hit we can restore some HP back 1% for example. For Boxing Glove I would give additional damage to humanoid enemies, plus 200%. Bear Arm could do more damage to animals, including insects. Ogwa Arm the same but to cryptids, Deathclaw Gauntlet could stagger enemies. By the way, some time ago Meat Cook could be affected by Gladiator perks and I think it would be nice to give it back this feature. Finally, let's give more minor gauntlet even more bleed damage and here we have balanced feastables that do not suck and have something special. You can put your boxing gloves on and Mike Tyson or Jake Pauls in West Tech. I wish we could use two boxing gloves, not just one. Let's go fighting! Speaking of damage resistances, well, as you can see, every single one is quite low. Yeah. I go here in a sneak mode, cause otherwise uh, I wouldn't survive. Go bloody! I'll go home. So small! So weak! You mean like John Wick or even weaker? Let's count punches! One, two, three! Three? Ok, here, one, two, come on. So I'd say we still need 3 punches to down level 100 mini and uh, being bloody with sneak bonus it's not that great actually. Oh, right in the balls. More minor gauntlet, 700 description damage, here goes one and uh, two, yeah. 
two hits and he's dead. They say you are champion. So take this. Yeah, two hits, he's down. Gauntlet. Hmm, I still need two hits. What's the actual F? <laughs> so even 900 damage plus sneak bonus isn't enough to one hit them. And that is why all Fistables should be as strong as Power Fist or Gauntlet. I think even Bear Arm is Saki Saki here. Yeah. Not good, not good at all. Speaking of Puppy Hawk, here's another example why all Fistables should be equally good or has little difference. What's the point to use Boxing Glove if Dauntlet is two times stronger? Bear Arm looks better, but still is far from being a good Fistable. Personally, I think weapons in Fallout 76 should have something special to make a unique build. It is RPG for that sake. And uh, let me know what you think uh, in the comment section down below. Fistables should be better Bethesda. Imagine they already give golden medals to biological dudes for beating biological girls in Olympic Games. So let us beat humanoids with boxing gloves in the this video game. Big thank you for watching, I'll see you later, bye 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 bye.